testing out these Cobra S2 irons. Uh, since then, they came out with the S2 Max, the S3, the S3 Max, and now the Cobra AMP. So these these clubs are are pretty old in terms of golf club life. But the thing is, is you can go out right now and grab a whole set of these four iron through gap wedge for two hundred dollars. You can get graphite shafts, which is what I have in these. Uh, stiff, regular, senior. You can get the regular steel shafts. So uh, I'm gonna give them a hit, see how they go. Red and white, 100 yards. So this should be going beyond that a good ways. Uh, I'm gonna hit the pitching, pitching wedge, and then an, uh, an eight iron, which is over there. So something I'm noticing, these are the this is the uh, Adiller regular uh, mid kick graphite shaft that you can get in the Cobra S2s as standard, and my swing speeds aren't aren't really that high, but what I'm noticing is there's a sweet spot to this club. If I swing harder, what happens is, is I get the my hands are at the point of contact where the ball would be, but the club heads behind it with the regular. With regular shaft, it seems regular shaft. It seems a little bit, it seems a little bit flexible for me. And this is a 65 regular, so you know, take I would take that into consideration. I would go a, a shaft flexibility strength up because something that I could do with the Callaways and the steel shaft is if I really needed to goose it and get some extra yardages, I could do it with just adding some more club head speed to my strike, and it would be fine. With these. The more you add club head speed, the worse it's going to get once you get to a certain point. You get, it's beyond diminishing returns, it's negative returns. So here, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, get, hit about three balls regular, and I'm going to hit about three balls with a little bit header, uh, a little bit faster, where I'm trying to like goose it, get those extra yards, then I'm put hit three balls very, very lightly. So let's, let's give this a go and see how it turns out. All right, so I'm going to hit these. Regular, well, regular, hit these three shots regular with the shaft that has sort of worked in over the day. So it's going to give this a nice, for me, it's a gentle swing. Give it a nice, gentle swing and see how it goes. Okay, that went, that went about one, about maybe about 114, 115. Give it another one, better ball. Oh, I got it. That was beautiful. That's, that's more about what I expect. That's about 125, 126 with the regular shaft. Nice, easy swing. Let's give that one more go. Oh, there you go. Actually, that went, that went about further. So that, that's maybe like 130. And I'm giving it a nice easy swing. I'm not trying to coax any more club head speed out of it. So now I'm gonna to try to swing this club head fast. And what's gonna happen is my hands are gonna get there before the club, the ball's gonna pop up and go right. So let's give this a go. That's up going right. That's about 120 though. It's just I don't have the control over it, so it still went pretty far, but it just Super high and to the right because my hands are getting there before the club face does. Let's give another one with a faster club head speed. Again, way high and to the right. Let's give this one more go with the faster club head speed. And again, high right. So you can't really goose any more yardage out of these clubs. Once you hit this club head speed that's limited by the flex of these graphite shafts, they're not going to be accurate and they don't really go any farther. So when I swing normally, nice, nice normal swing, 125-ish. When I swing really hard, they're going higher, but they're also going 10, 15, almost 20 yards to the right. So now I'm going to go hit a real light swing and see what that does for it. 
go nice and slow. Nice, slow, easy swing. Straight as an arrow. Although much shorter, let's do that again. Slow, easy swing. God, I cannot swing, swing the club slow at all. But so with a slow swing, it's going, it's going maybe 100 yards and they're going straight. But there's there's this point where club head speed going this way, you're picking it up, picking it up, ball's going farther, it's keeping the distance. Once you hit this certain point, and it's very, very noticeable in these clubs, you know the second that you hit it, if you swing too fast, because the ball goes a lot higher and it goes way right. So we're gonna go one more regular club head swing. The red, red post is uh, 100 yards out. Yep, nice and slow. About 100 yards. And that's that's true across the range. That being said, though, this club is incredibly light, and it just it pops the ball up. It pops the ball right up. Uh, I'm gonna go grab uh, go grab another iron, and I'm just gonna show you what I mean with a long iron that I usually don't hit that well. So I'll be right back. Okay, so got a five iron here and a 23.5 degree rescue and the rescue is lofted about a degree higher but watch what happens when I hit these two they're gonna go they both they both balloon up I mean that's that's just that's just up there that's just straight up. That's that's incredible. Give this another hit. I mean, look at that. That's that's just you know with a five iron that I hit, I hit decently well. Not not the best strike in the world. Definitely a little bit toey. Just goes it goes right up, which is just incredible. It's in the the X14s. The other clubs that I hit today, the, the other Taylor made. Uh, what else did I hit today? Oh, I hit a I hit a Ping G20. These, even though they're older, they're just they're just going up. The technology difference, I can't really I can't really tell. What I'm saying is that you get these you get these new models, and they're like cars. The body panels are a little bit different. But the technology and the results that you get really aren't that dissimilar. So that five iron, way up there, and that's with the Cobra S2. The AMP is very similar. The S3 is a lot different, very different. But it's incredible. Okay, so now watch launch angles with the 23 degree R11 hybrid, R11 Rescue 11 hybrid. Give this a go. Not nearly as high. Admittedly, that was that was a terrible strike on my part. So let me give that let me give that another go. There you go. I got a hold of that one. That was a good strike. I mean that that went a little bit high. So let me let me do this again. Show you height difference. Watch the height on this. Okay. Now the. R11 23 degree rescue. It's marginally higher. If you're on a linksy style course, it's a windy day. I'm taking I'm taking the iron every day of the week, and I don't hit irons well. It's just the extreme perimeter weighting and whatever the hell Cobra's doing, they're doing it well. Cause I hit. I hit this all. I hit this rescue 11 very well, and the five iron is not too far behind. And this rescue 11 is lofted a degree higher, well, a degree and a half. But it's still, it's just okay. I got a hold of that one. That one went up there, but it's just incredible. And there's plenty of these deals that you can get. You can get. If you don't like Cobra, you're not a fan of Cobra, you don't like Ricky Fowler or whatever, you can get other clubs. You can get Burner 2.0, Superfast 2.0 irons, under $300, five through, or four through pitching wedge. Same thing across the board. 
uh, G15s, same thing. There's a lot of great deals that are just a generation or two older that are out there. And I would say give it a go. Uh, that's, that's it for me. Take it easy and have a good one. We'll see you soon.